Hello, my beautiful, darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope all my Cancer babies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and this is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is below. I also have a Leo-only channel and a Virgo-only channel, so if you have those signs in your chart or you cross-watch for them, feel free to check it out, okay? Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. So just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. Winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. Um, so my loves, just please keep in mind when watching tarot, this could be something that has happened, is happening, or can happen in the future. So if you're dating someone new or you're single, this could be red flags to watch out for, okay? Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation, okay? Spirit, tell me about, ooh, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know today in love, please, Spirit? Okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups in the reverse, okay? Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Wands. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the Three of Wands in the reverse and we've got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Wow, Cancer. Okay, let's see what's under the deck. King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh. Okay, so Cancer, this could be your side, this could be your person side. Now, Cancer, the King of Cups in the upright, in the Divine Masculine, is someone that is able to control their emotions, sometimes to the point of even appearing cold, okay? This is someone that could have like all the love for you in the world, but they don't show it. This is someone that doesn't put their heart on their sleeve. Now, with this in the reverse, this could be a representation of someone who's drunk, but this is somebody pouring out their emotions, okay? And with that Ace of Pentacles, here it's this could be an apology or this could be somebody that is offering something really big like I, I want you I want to commit to you um, sometimes I see that as a, an engagement ring you know this could be a big proposal let's move into together let's get married let's have kids together um, with the eight of pentacles and the ten of wands I don't feel that you're currently with this person cancer um, I feel like this person is having a very hard time right now, Cancer. A very hard time. This is someone that it, it's an energy of this can't be over. I don't see a future without you. I don't see anybody else in my life. I can't see, you know, for some of you, it could be so extreme as, you know, if, if you know, I hate to say it, but... For some of you, it could be somebody's in an energy of there's nothing left for me without you in my life. For some of you, people could be indicating suicide. I, I'm going to throw that out there, okay? I don't ever say that word very often, but this is somebody that is like, I can't do life without you. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. Ace of Swords with the King and Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody that's realizing that you are their person, okay? That is an awakening that is taking place. Okay, Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, please. The Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. It took a long time for this person to come to this realization. We've got the Three of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, a lot of communication. This person is so heartbroken and destroyed that this connection has ended. And with that Ten of Swords in the reverse, it has ended with no coming back. Okay? It has ended with no coming back. Um, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Uh, the King of Swords in the reverse. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. 
this is someone that knows that they have to work on their attitude king of swords in the reverse could be a little bit of a narcissistic and abusive energy this is someone that could be abusive emotionally physically mentally even spiritually they know they have to work on this this is someone that could be offering to go to counseling uh, anger management okay tell me about the ten of wands and the high priestess cancer piscean energy Cancer, I feel like secretly this person knows that this is something that has been weighing down their life for a long time, this attitude problem that they have. Um, I also feel like, Cancer, this person has not been showing you how hard um, life has been for them. They've been keeping it to themselves. Three of Wands in the reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. They can't see forward, Cancer. They don't see a few. A Seven of Pentacles. All they're doing is looking back. All they're doing is looking back. They see no future without you. They see no future without you here. We've got the Emperor and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. You may have put your foot down with this person, Cancer, and they know that your boundaries are up. Ten of Swords in the reverse and the Emperor with the Justice card, Libra Energy. They know that's their karma for how they treated you, but it's not going to stop them from chasing you, Cancer, because they have nothing left. They have nothing left without you. They can't do life without you. So they know that they deserve for you to not let them in they know that they deserve to lose you they know that okay but they just can't they're they they just can't they can't lose you they just can't tell me about tell me about cancer please sun moon rising venus six of swords in the reverse and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, Cancer, I'm telling you, expect that message. Three of Cups. They're, they're coming back to reconcile, Cancer. Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Cancer, they are so passionate about this because <clears throat> it's like they can't live with imagine if you're starving or if you're dying of dehydration and you see that little bit of food over there or uh, some water think about how much how hard you would pursue that this is how this person is seeing this connection like you are their lifeline cancer four of wands and the ten of pentacles under the deck cancer this person they they do see a future with you we have the Nine of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands. Um, I'm seeing the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. <sighs> Cancer, you're going to be very defensive when this person comes back. The Empress in the reverse. You have nothing left to give to this. We have the Emperor and the Empress on the board now, true pair, and we saw the King and Queen of Pentacles. I feel like, Cancer, you have nothing left to give to this. You feel like you've given it your all. You feel depleted. You feel like you can't manifest with this person. You feel, I'm surprised we haven't seen the tower because I feel like you feel like anything you should build with this person, they will tear it down. Tell me about the nine of wands for cancer. The eight of swords in the reverse. You want to free yourself. The empress in the reverse and the sun card. Yeah, you've had a big awakening about this person, cancer. I feel like you may even be happy now without this person in your life, but you're starting to see the truth for what it is here that, you know, you just can't be with this person. Like all they want to do is hurt you. Tell me about cancer, please. We have the two of pentacles and the seven of wands. Cancer, this person is going to fight until you start doubting yourself. Because I feel like with that nine of wands and that seven of wands, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to hear about anything you have to say. I've heard it all before. And with the two of pentacles, maybe you're like, man, is it because you've never seen them fight like this before, Cancer? You've never seen this side of them before. You've never, you've never seen them fight like this before. Two of pentacles and the queen of wands. Cancer, you may feel like this person's juggling you with someone else. Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. You don't trust them that they don't have anyone else. Uh, Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. You may not want to talk about this to this person. You may not want to have this conversation because you may feel like there's someone else in the picture. 
Whoa. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy with the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Cancer, this could potentially be someone that chose someone else over you and now they're realizing the truth here that they're speaking their truth when they say they're sorry for cheating on you, for lying, for disappearing. Four of Pentacles and the Fool card. They don't want you to go, Cancer. They do not want you to go. They don't want to lose you. They do not want to lose you. Two of Cups and the Two of Wands, the bottom line here is, Cancer, is that this person had a choice. They had a choice as to, you know, where they wanted to go, and I feel like they chose wrong, to be honest with you. I feel like they chose wrong. Wow, I can't believe we're only at 11 minutes. This reading went by really, really fast. Normally it takes me 20 minutes to get through a reading. I, I, You know what it is, Cancer? I feel like this, connect, this conversation that's coming in is going to be extremely clear cut. Like this person's coming in and they want to talk. They want to be honest. They want to be quick and they want to be to the point. We've got the moon card and the seven of swords. This person really, they... <sighs> The thing is, you think it's an illusion. The world card, you've learned your lesson with this person. You feel like everything they say is a lie. Everything they say is a lie. And with the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords, you went through a lot trying to get away from this person. And I feel like you have finally found peace. And now this person's coming in to disrupt this peace. They're coming in to disrupt this piece with the lover's card, the six of pentacles and the four of cups. I feel like cancer, this person left you. They left you alone. They left you hurt. They rejected you. They ignored you to go give to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? To go give to somebody else. And I feel like you don't want to be, you have a fear of being put in that position again. Okay. All right, so I guess, Cancer, the question here is, should you stay or should you go? Okay, so let's take it into the extended and see, you know, what you should do here. Is there still a third party in the picture? What are their true feelings and intentions? Should you reconcile or should you leave this for good? Um, guys, I'm sorry that this reading is only like 13 minutes. Normally, my readings go 20 to 25 minutes, but it's such a clear cut you know, I feel like this person's just cutting to the chase with you and, and being honest, okay? I mean, or at least that's what it seems. Um, all right, guys, so the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I will see you guys there, my love. Take care.